Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Market Minute for Sunday, the 5th of November. All right, what a week we've had. When we last met last Sunday, what I talked about was things weren't looking very good, although we looked like we were close to a bottom. And what was important was not necessarily this swing, which would have bottomed at some point, but what the next move was. Now, remember, we use FIB retracements to understand where we sit with a swing. And so what we're looking for when we do something like this is to see on the bounce back up, so the initial swing down, and then on the bounce back up, does it just go to the 38.2 and then reject and come back down again? Does it go up to the 50%? We talked about a lot of Confluence of resistance up here with the 200-day moving average and the 50% retracement. So that could have been a place where the price also found some weakness and rejected. And then we talked about the 61.8% retracement saying this is kind of the, the line of delineation here between bull and bear. If the price is able to get above that 61.8% retracement at about 42.84% then it was likely going to fill in the triangle. And I would say it has, and in a very violent and spectacular fashion. In fact, if you look at this, the drop that we had, which was pretty strong, we dropped 300 points in the space of about a week and a half, which is pretty strong move. But look at this, we've reclaimed almost all of it in only five days. So to some degree, the bounce back up has been stronger than the move that got it there in the first place. Now, of course, things have changed because of what we've seen with especially some of the jobs reports. So jobless claims was a little bit hotter than normal. ADP payrolls was a little bit light on private payrolls. And then, of course, the Friday jobs report was a little bit light with the previous month also being downgraded. So this is sort of what we've been waiting for for a long time that satisfies what the Fed is looking for, for them to stand to the sideline and pause, maybe even pivot sometime into the early part of 2024. So is that by itself enough to cause the markets to rally? Maybe. So I don't necessarily care what politicians or Fed governors say. What I care about is what the price does. So from here, this is why I call this the moment of truth. Two things can possibly happen from here. If we see a consolidation or maybe even a little bit of a pullback, we've gone a long way in a very short period of time. You can see the exhaustion down here. It would make sense for the price to come sideways to down, probably not up that much further. Sideways to down would make sense into this week. We have a fairly lame week. We don't have a whole lot of catalysts for movement. Earnings are starting to taper off. So this actually would be the most bullish outcome is a quiet, what I call a high and tight flag from here. More than likely at some point, the next catalyst would burst this thing above this descending trend line, and then we'd be on our way. But we've got to hit over 4,600 on this swing. We've got to hit over 4,600 to maintain the monthly uptrend. Otherwise, if we don't, if we're in, unable to get about 4,600, that will print a really, really wicked lower high setting up on the monthly chart. And that is a precursor to perhaps a bull trap and prices heading down. So again, we don't want to go all in on the bull side mentally at this point. We want to still stay balanced in terms of our approach to things. Now, the other thing that could happen is we could see this thing just start to work itself down. And I would say I don't want to see the price undercut the 200-day moving average. Otherwise, we just have another lower high in the context of a downtrend. We're heading lower. Now, something would have to change materially for this to happen, some kind of other exogenous event or Fed speak coming out saying, no, 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 we didn't say anything about cutting rates for next year. Or, yeah, we... We're, we're bound to determine to keep raising rates. This would be the path that we'd see if, if some kind of comment like this would, were to come out from the Fed. We'd undercut that 200-day moving average, which at this point would, be, uh, would create a massive bull trap. 
So anything can happen from here, but this is the moment of truth that we've been waiting for in this market. Either we rise from this point after a three-month corrective period, which in effect turns into a bull flag and no harm, no foul, or this is the beginning of the next drop. We'll see what happens by next week. Thanks for listening. See you in the next edition. 